right, we're checking out the only game where when I slam on the brakes, I slam on my drive to survive, it's GTA. We want to find out which vehicle in GTA has the best brakes, and so it's time for a brand new challenge. We're gonna put all these cars up against what is effectively the Olympics of full contact brake testing. We're talking downhill brakes and aerial brakes and speed brakes. Typically, I end up driving so fast that I give myself brain damage, but today we're going to try and stop and then subsequently get brain damage. All of these different vehicles have brakes in order to try and stop before they became part of this board, but it didn't work, and so only one can make it to the end. Let's do this. Say hello to incline braking on grass. So we have a epic number of, what do I do here? Oh, oh, it disappears. So what's in here? Can you, you, oh, <laughs> oh God, <ooh. laughs> I never thought I would be part of the brake test. I, oh, that's a windmill. Ah! Dodge the windmill off of the board down the mountainside, pull the parachute, and I'm fine. I'm gonna lie, this is quite the board that you put together. <laughs> oh God! So we have an absurd number of cars to test here, and I'm not gonna lie, some of the meme cars I think are going to perform very well. When does this thing go away? Oh, there we go. Are going to perform very well. Because normally you'd say to yourself, well, how's a bike gonna be able to beat any of these challenges? But a bike should have fantastic brakes considering, you know, all the other cars have so much speed. Once again, the step child that is the Sherp fails to do anything. I'm giving it one more try just to see like, maybe I can kind of turn it sideways and stop that way. Ow! Yeah, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna need a different car. Okay, now normally this would be incredibly stupid, but there is no way we're not gonna make it past this challenge with this. I can even go right through the little cage he's made. <laughs> All right, so go on to the teleport pad, teleporter teleports you, and brakes on the vapid are, oh, the problem is I don't have any vehicle weight. So the thing just ends up turning sideways. So I have an idea. I got stuck down here but the Vapid can just climb its way out, and I think I might be able to jump over the windmill. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can see that he put in some of these, uh, these anti-cheat measures right here, but watch. I think we'll be able to jump over this. Ah, it's too steep. All right, I want to give this one more try. I'm using the patented just use your head method here, where I just crumple the car on its roof and hope that that stops it. Midnight pumping, you say? <laughs> Climb our way back up. Now you gotta watch because, man, the... Oh, got it. Hold on, we're gonna make this happen now. So now we're gonna aim upward just a little bit because I don't wanna get this thing turning. Ah, no! Okay, the Vapid was unreasonably delicate. So the brake's not good. How about this though? Oh yeah, America just projectile vomited all over power, baby. Are you ready? Oh, ready! There it is. Okay. All right, brakes feel, brakes feel terrible. I think this car weighs way too much. Ow. Parents are like, how did you do on your science test? I got a 45. Oh, backhand. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it missed me. <laughs> I, I missed the backhand and I got the forehand. Let's try a legit vehicle. Now, I, I you would think this has great braking, right? Fantastic supercar. In fact, if I had to guess, I would imagine a supercar would be the winner at the end of all of this. So stop it, stop it, stop. Man, no, that's unbelievable. I would have thought that an electric car would have done pretty well. I mean, not like the electricity has anything to do with the brakes, I don't think, but you figure, oh God. Come on, stop. Maybe the technology would make a difference. All right, I think we're approaching this all wrong. You ready for this strat? Oh, it, it puts you forward anyway. <laughs> I thought I could go in in reverse. Oh, wow. Huh. We did it. All right, cool. So we found one that gets past the first challenge. That's nice. So does the teleporter... <laughs> oh, the teleporter moves. <laughs> I think I can walt right out of this, <laughs> hold on. I might, I might be able to fix my mistake here. If you're seeing this, I was unable to fix my mistake. And for some reason, I've tried it multiple times now. I cannot get a break like I got that last time. How about the Jeep? This is a terrible vehicle. Like the worse the vehicle is, the better it should do because we're trying to have no forward momentum, like as little as possible. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get beaten in the teeth right now. It's like the more America I strap to any of these vehicles, the worse the brakes are. How come safety is not an important part of driving? 
Hi, dear. Foot on the brake. Waiting for the boosts. Taking the boosts. In the face. Sideways. Didn't make any difference at all. This is a weird idea I have. I just want to see if it makes any difference. If you do it in first person mode, do you have better brakes? The answer is no. Check this out. You ready for this? Who here doesn't think this bike's gonna make it? This bike's 100% gonna make it. I guarantee it. You ready? You ready? Watch this. <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> yeah! Oh man! Who would have thought that the bike would be the very first one to complete this challenge? Okay. So, teleporter goes down, we grab the teleporter, there we go! We're on to the next challenge now with the bicycle! Alright, what's next? Reverse braking on incline with weight. With weight, huh? Okay. Hold on for 15 seconds. Like, stay inside the circle for 15 seconds or what? I'm waiting, I don't- Oh, there we go. Okay, so you have to do the- What is, uh... What is it? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! No, it's a blender! Oh, I missed. Huh. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that, but the bicycle can just kind of sneak on through like that. So, oh, there's a teleporter. So the idea is, I assume, you're supposed to stop that gigantic container with the power of your brakes and then back up and hit the teleporter without getting smacked by the wind turbine. Where's the teleporter at? And I got double tapped. I'm gonna land right next to my bike. Okay, so I learned something. The teleporter only comes down one time. So if you miss that teleporter, you have to do it all over again. I have tried doing this with the bike like six more times and I just fold now every single time. <laughs> okay, I've got a strat, I've got a strat. You ready, Ray? Watch this, watch this. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Screw you, Alex! Oh, get my teleporter. Where's my teleporter at? Oh, the bike's gonna complete a second. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, what happened? Where? Wait, did it just teleport my bike, but not me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! Okay, I think I had the right idea. The problem is, is that the bike can't do very much besides go slow. <laughs> so when it comes to weight and stuff, it's not gonna make it. But how about six wheels? This should make it. So, I just realized something that is now very, very concerning. The license plate on this vehicle says no brakes. Surely it must have brakes, you might say. Nope, not at all. I don't think this thing is slowing down at all. All right, let's burn it. We're doing the open wheel F1 style racing. The wood is red. We are a go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Easy stop, right there. That's what I'm talking about. This should do fantastic. Now, I don't know how good it's going to do trying to hold a big piece of weight up, but we're going to get there. Here we go. All right, give me the weight. Go. Power. Agility. Torque. Oh, God. Okay, maybe if I turn it sideways a little bit. Oh, is that, oh! that windmill just ripped my clothes off. I might be able to cheat and get the... No, not at all. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Oh, you know what? Rubbing on the side of the course might give me additional stopping power. Or I thought it would. It's really not giving me any additional stopping power. I guess the thing that I've learned trying to do this with the open wheel car is that this car can definitely stop itself very good with its brakes. It cannot stop any other entity attached to it. Now, I don't think that the quad has a chance. I might be able to cheat the second board with this, but I just want to see if the brakes are good enough <laughs> to even get past the first board. When your license plate says trauma, the answer is no. Actually, the answer might be yes. Never mind. The answer is yes. I guess I just didn't brake hard enough last time. The brakes aren't great. It's still kind of sliding down the hill but it's sliding down slow enough to the part where I can get the checkpoint. Will it be able to stop the weight? I'm gonna go ahead and say probably, oh God, this is a lot worse than I thought. Oh no. Oh, I am eating the suspension and it tastes like regret. Let us never speak of this. All right, the side-by-side -side won the last challenge. I think it should do pretty good on the brake challenge. I know 
that the side-by-side -side has strong brakes. Look at that. All right, give me my teleporter. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, it's right there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You cannot do it. I was wrong. I should have never had any faith in you. I'm just kidding. I have all the faith in you. Full Man, how come my first... There we go. I was going to say, my first brake job felt a lot better than this most recent one. What is that? Is that a bird in the way? Bird! I, I don't know if I can stop in time, man. <laughs> Yeah, you run. Well, you fly. It's got some weight. It's got some power. It might get it? I don't know. Uh, I'm getting pushed down pretty fast. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Not enough brake power. Back to the power cars, baby. Ferrari. I'm paying a lot for the vehicle. Did you put any of my money into the brakes? Apparently they did. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is some of the best braking we've had. Burn some rubber, go through the teleporter, no big deal. Now, do we have enough power to stop the crate? Okay, uh, it still feels like nothing can stop this thing. E even, with, even with all of the braking and traction, we're still getting beat. And now I'm urinating oil all over the ground. Ah! Uh, Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, hold on, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Yeah! <laughs> oh, there's my bike. Uh, and I think I broke the rear axle of this car. That's okay though, it made it. Full acceleration braking on ice. Okay, so now we're doing surfaces, I like it. Break at the red line. Oh, we got like the Tron arrow here, sweet. All right, so you, the walk of the, W key is stuck. Oh, it is. Okay. I have no control right now. I can't. I, it accelerates no matter what. Okay, and then I can break after I get past. No way. I can break after I get past the line. Also, if you notice what's kind of cool, I don't know if that's built into the script or what, but it repaired my car in order to do that challenge. Like, it auto-repaired it when the W key got stuck. So... Realistically, I got super lucky in order to even get past this challenge with this car and replicating it is going to be almost impossible. So this car cannot complete this. Okay, how about something right in the middle? Something with a lot of beef, but some decent wheels too. All right, braking capabilities. I can kind of wiggle it a little bit trying to... No, the braking capabilities are terrible. Back to supercars. Squeal. That sounds terrible. My favorite color is lemon lime sadness Ugh. Okay. uh brakes are oh oh brakes are oh my god that is as close as you could possibly want to come look at this <laughs> okay the brakes do work though we got past the first challenge with this does it have the power to stop oh wow Okay, this is easily the slowest we have got this thing to move. It is moving us, but check this out. Check this out. I think we have the weight and the braking right now to get this. I think we have it. Yeah! Okay. So now we have completed all the challenges so far perfectly with this vehicle. Real quick, just because I'm curious, I want to see if we can keep going with the bicycle. Like, what if the bicycle wins this? The W key will get stuck. <laughs> Does it even matter? <laughs> I'm going 25 miles an hour. I guess 27, 28. That's pretty fast. Oh. Okay, so there's a fail safe built into this challenge. The wall comes up. The red line is a wall. It says it's a red line, but really it's a wall that comes up from the ground. And if you don't go fast enough, you can't get past it in the first place. All right, we'll use a real car. I'm ready to roll. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah, here we go. All right, go. I probably could have put the bike in the middle of the roadway to slow down the car, right? So it gets up to about 90, slam on the brakes. No, it cannot stop quick enough on an icy surface. Oh, ah! oh I'm gonna take this door with me. I'm gonna use my ankle to take this door with me. My ankle thanks you for your patronage. I wanna try this one more time, and I know it can go through all these other challenges to get to that last challenge pretty easy. Look at this, every time. All right, here's the strat. When we get past the red line, we're gonna hammer this thing. Come on. Ah. Okay, so I figured if I just held down on the brake, 
the whole time. It would start breaking right away, and I could stop in time. I cannot. All right, we're moving back over to a big car. Loaded. Got stacks of money, okay? Should give me plenty of traction to break. First braking test. How does it feel, Gray? It feels like pain. Ugh. I had to double check, and the answer is still absolutely not. Hold on, he says. Now, this is interesting, because this is halfway between a bicycle, okay, and a car. I And I can just go straight through the cage. So I don't even care. No problem braking. Brakes are insane on this thing. Now, again, the main issue here is going to be the... <laughs> oh, my God. The main issue here is going to be the weight, right? Because it's not going to be able to stop the weight. But... I don't know if I can get up in time. I might be able to get this thing. No, I can't. All right, trust me on this. Trust me on this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're gonna we're gonna go and then we're gonna bail out at the last second on the left. There we are. Okay, turn around, full 360. And once the teleporter comes up, we can grab it. Nice. So now, how does this do on ice? Okay, lots of acceleration. 50, 60, 70, 80. We have a pretty good speed. And then slam on it. Oh yeah. Easy. Still had half of the roadway left on ice. Motorcycles where it's at. Grab the teleporter. Mid-air braking? Why? <laughs> Why would you need to test that? How do you brake in mid-air? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? How long is this board? I don't know. Oh my god. Okay. So you're driving. I'm going 150 miles an hour. You're ramping. Oh, it's a slowdown circle. This is gonna hurt really bad. Oh, I stuck the landing. Okay, so I had to come down here to look at this. I guess you ramp off this and you need to land on that platform, which means I need to use this slowdown stick up here somehow, almost like a launch pad. Now, the cool part is pretty much I'm getting really good <laughs> at cheating this spot. And the ice I can do one time every single time with tons of distance left. So you may be saying, great, how are you gonna use that as a launch pad? With a slowdown stick or circle, if you jump it, Oh, I can't get there though. I don't I don't have enough height. All right, we're going to try a different car real fast. Okay. And good enough braking. What I was going to say is if you lean your car forward on a slowdown circle, it'll propel you. It will actually launch you instead of slow you down. Grab the checkpoint, no big deal. Stopping the weight is also pretty easy because you can kind of turn this thing sideways and it slows down plenty in order for the teleporter to come up and then you can grab it. And there we go. How does it do on ice? I'm honestly not sure. Should do okay though. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say that we're easily gonna be able to stop. Probably with like a good 20, 30 feet left. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Oh, one more time. Hit it. Wow, okay. I guess we can't stop in time. All right, listen, I have an idea. So the W key is stuck, but I can still drive. So if I drive, I do lose just a couple of miles an hour, and that is enough for us to complete this challenge. But now the question is, will this work for mid-air braking? 120, 130, 140, 150, big jump, lean forward. Uh, I didn't lean far enough, I don't think. The snow braking, I can get every time. Okay, once we launch, we're gonna need to lean way more forward. Way forward! There it is. There it is. That's a good. Oh, I boosted too hard. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I missed the ramp. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Now, I have an idea. I can climb up this. So, we might be able to get some good distance going back up this incline and then race on down and jump off. See? We can go all the way up here. Now, the question is Is this the distance made so that you can't get enough height? And it looks like it is. Wow. How about fail-safe proofing? Line it up. Get ready. Forward lean. Boop. Okay. That might be, that's too much again. All right, I was wrong. We need to, we need to lean forward less. So maybe like here. Uh, oh, oh, oh my God. Wow, no, 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 that was so perfect. That was like the most perfect amount of boosting I could get in this vehicle. But now though, I will say I have an idea 
of about how much I need to boost. There. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, might be too much. Hold on. We might be good. Oh, no. No. It's right there. Captain's lock. Attempt number 480. I have killed about 6,000 birds. Hold on, hold on. Yes. All right. Now I need to make sure I go perfectly straight. And don't overshoot it. Oh! 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 Oh my god. If he had not put that slowdown circle there, I would have probably flipped my desk. But we got it, which means now it's time for 669 mile an hour breaking. Why? Why? You had to put it in, didn't you? You had to make it 669 mile an hour breaking. The acceleration will disengage when the car reaches 669 miles an hour got it all right tron arrow turns into a booster boosts you i have no control right now i cannot stop this thing from accelerating 500 600 669 so what do i do can i oh my god ah! well so Am I allowed to start braking once I reach 60, 69 or how, how does this even work? Fortunately, I'm getting pretty good. Oh, I just karma myself. As I was saying, <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at getting to this point. Okay, 300. I'm going to try and slam on the brakes the second we get to 669 to see if that works. So 669. Okay, go. Oh, you can stop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. I'm fine. There is a lot of Greystill plays left on the underside of this bridge right now. Okay, there has to be a way to do this. Like, I have to break, but I have to break enough to where I can dodge the bridge. And then, is that a windmill? <laughs> this is just a random windmill chilling out in the middle of the board, too. <laughs> and so, if you hit the bridge at all, you get ejected from the car. Okay, 669. Slam on the brakes. Still too fast. So, this is really odd to say. I've gotten to the point where I've timed the brakes really good. This thing cannot brake enough going 669 miles an hour. It's done so well so far, and I, I, just, I can't believe it, but it cannot brake in time. Okay, we got three cars left. Um, I have in my head what I think has to be the one to do it, and it's going to be the Draugr. Going down the hill. How does it do? I know it does really good. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the other vehicle besides the side-by-side -side that can stop easily when it's going down the hill. So first challenge, no problem. Easy to beat. Get the teleporter. How is it with weight? No problem. It can almost move the weight back up the hill. So it does go slow enough to the point where I can easily get this checkpoint as well. Boop. How does it stop on ice? This I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and say pretty good because I think I remember using this on one of our surfaces challenges yeah and it doesn't go very fast its top speed is not great i can't say i've ever tried it in midair braking either we need to get at least 150 about to clear this hole so hopefully oh yeah okay it gets tons of speed going downhill and the aerodynamics isn't bad but i think i aimed it up too far forward okay hold on i think i'm doing this wrong i think i need to lean much more forward like uh, I think it's even more. Hold on, so watch. I'm gonna get this almost 90 degrees. Like that. There we go. I knew there's a sweet spot somewhere. And then big jump. Line it up with the slowdown circle. Easy win on that challenge. All right, 669 miles an hour, go! 100. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. 669. Slam on the brakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big, big brakes. Big brakes. Big brakes. Ah! Oh! We just need a little bit of extra braking. I think we can get it if maybe we, we swish the car around a little bit. Okay. All right. Here's the plan. The second we're allowed to start braking, we're going to have to, like, very light input. <laughs> All right. Brake. Not yet, not yet. Now, light input, light input, back and forth. Very slight. Yeah! 
It can do it! The Draugr can act. Ooh, oh, that was ramp. <laughs> okay. I braked before the 669 miles an hour sent me off the board, and that means that we have a winner! Well, the brakes braked, and now my back's gonna break. Ugh. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.